Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Fedora Jam. So Fedora Jam is a flavor of Fedora. It is meant for content creators. So people or the creators who work on their audio tracks, who work on their video tracks, who want to edit video tracks, who want to edit the audio tracks. For all those people, this special flavor is uh, available. So they have used the standard Fedora workstation. They have added certain special applications for the creators as well as done certain tweaks to uh, decrease the latency of the kernel. So we are going to check out what exactly what they have done with the Fedora jam. So you can see the wallpaper. It is very precisely, uh, uh, we can say precisely selected for the Fedora jam. So guitars, the drum, uh, drum set is there. So it just shows that uh, what exact functionality of this flavor uh, is uh, there. So it shows that this flavor is meant for the musicians. So at the bottom, you got the standard KDE panel, the application menu, the system settings, Discord software center, Dolphin file manager, Firefox web browser, notifications, updates. Uh, Volume control is there, your network manager, notifications and status area, calendar is there, as well as the minimize all windows button is there. Now let us head over directly to the multimedia section where all the applications, uh, special applications are available. So you got Arpeg, so Arpeg is a jack midi aggregator, add64 is the additive synthesizer, Alsa mixer is there, so it is the GUI version of the Alsa mixer. Alsa modular synthesizer is there, so it is real time MIDI control synthesizer. Alder is there, Alder is your digital audio workstation. Carl plugin pack is available for Jack. Carla is a, plug, a plugin host. Carla control is the OSP control for the Carla, so you can control your Jack and plugins. Drum kit is there, so drum kits is a MIDI, MIDI player. Then you can uh, create the drum bits and then you can record those drum bits. And create your soundtrack or you can add the drum bits to the sound uh, soundtrack all those things can be done dragon player is there so it is well known video uh, video player echo mixer is there so you can control the echo digital audio sound cards elisa is the very, also very no, well known music player and we control is nv nv24 control is for controlling the nv24 sound cards fado mixer is there so it is a firewire audio mixer Fresco Baldi is there, so it is I think for your notifications and uh, those things. So you can edit and create not uh, notations for the music. You can create your music score using Fresco Baldi. Guitarix is a mono amplifier. Harmony sequencer is there. So it is a MIDI sequencer for live performances. HDA, HDA jack retask is there. So it is retask the audio jacks for the HDA sound driver. HDSP configuration is there, so it is the Hammerfall DSP control application. So you can control the Hammerfall DSP using this application. HDSP mixer is there, so you can make mix the different channels using this HDSP mixer. Hardware mix volume is there, so wherever the sound cards allow the hardware mixing of the sound, you can use this. Hydrogen drum drum machine is there, so you can create your uh, drum music using this drum kits. Ja is a jack and Alsa audio analyzer. Jack mixer is there. Jappa is also another jack and Alsa perpetual audio analyzer. So first is the audio analyzer. Second is per, uh, perceptual audio analyzer. How you percept the sound? So it is based on that. Tamoso is the camera. Lash panel is there. Mudita is a Alsa GUI control tool for the NV24 sound cards. Mopmate is a user interface for the Mop Music Publisher. So you can publish your music using the Mopmate. Muse is a contemporary uh, digital audio workstation. So it is a competitor of Arder. So many creators prefer Muse over Arder and many others will use uh, Adder and prefer it over Muse. So it is a personal choice. New session manager with the legacy GUI is there. Pulse audio volume control. QS configuration. So it is Alsa configuration. QS HTCL is there. So it is Alsa HTCL viewer. Quas mixer is there. So it is sound mixer, uh, sound volume mixer. 
Q jack control is for the jack control. Q MIDI ARP is the ARP getter sequence or LFO. Q synthesizer is nothing but the fluid uh, fluid synth GUI. Q tractor is multi track sequencer. Track Arc is a digital audio effects processor. Ray session is there. Rose Garden is sequencer and notification editor. So you can create music using notations and then you can uh, edit those notations and uh, you can uh, can say keep on improving the music uh, not, uh, music score using rose garden sampler is there so it is a midi sampler synthesizer midi synthesizer snooper looper is to create real time looping so you can create uh, music loops and, uh, and you can do sampling on those music uh, loops Tux guitar is there, VMPK, Yoshim is a polyphonic uh, multi multimbral software synthesizer, Zeta 1 is the auto tune, Zeta Rev 1 is stereo reverberation, so you can add stereo reverberation to the soundtrack, you can auto tune the soundtrack using Zeta 81 and Zine, uh, Zine add sub effects is a Alsa software synthesizer based on Alsa the other is based on jack so you can use jack for the software synthesizing and also you can use alsa for the software synthesizing you can also use multi-channel jack for the software synthesizer and there is also zine add sub effects for the open source method or the open source option now if we go to the utilities, there is no any other uh, additional applications, no special application, only the XVL and video bridge is there. So you can share your screens and videos to the XVL and application. So if you are using XVL and application, you can use this video bridge. So this is helpful for the content creators who are live streaming to their audiences. Further in the office section, you can see the complete office suite is there along with ocular. Internet, you can see all the important applications are available. For the communication of content creators with the outside world in graphics all pretty standard nothing new is there games also uh, it is not of any consequence for them you can just delete the games section in education libreoffice math and vmpk is there development you can see here nothing is there the amx text editor and the qt q uh, QD bus viewer is there in administration section firewall is there so firewall is as such important uh, important security measure for your desktop you should have that other than this there is no special applications anywhere now we are going to open the console where I will show you what different system tweaks have been applied by the Fedora developers to this flavor of Fedora that is Fedora Jam so you have to use this command u limit space dash a so it will show you all the system ticks that have been applied to increase the low latency of the kernel so you can see here real time non blocking time is unlimited core file size is unlimited data segmentation size is unlimited scheduling priority is zero file size is unlimited pending signals is 15424 max lock memory is 8192 max memory size is unlimited open files is 1024 pipe size is 8 O6 message queues is 819200, real time priority is 0, stack size is 8192, CPU time is unlimited, max user processes is 15424, virtual memory is unlimited, file locks is unlimited. So basically they have already done the system tweaks and uh, created a very low latent, uh, low latency system. So you can just install it and start uh, doing your professional audio work or professional video editing work using this. So you can record, edit audio as well as video tracks using this. Some, some of the users might want further low latency settings. So they can uh, either go for the RT kernel or they can do system settings and create more low latency. But as such, I think this is good enough uh, to begin with. And uh, just to add a small note that most of the Linux kernels a general purpose Linux kernels are already having very good low latency settings. So even if you use the general purpose uh, latency, uh, general purpose kernels with the latency, uh, they can also work very well. And I don't think you require that much low latency. But of course, there are two groups. One group always goes for the low latency kernels and the real time kernels, while the other groups, they are happy with the general purpose kernels and whatever the latencies they are offering 
to the users so it is your pick you can stick with the default latencies that are default settings or the latencies that have been applied to the kernel in fedora ja or you can increase the low latency in the kernel by doing uh, uh, system tweaks for example you can change the scheduling priority you can change the real time priority and make it even more latent so that you can do otherwise i think this is good enough for most of the users so i will now stop the video here see you in the next video bye bye